Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another Alco review. With me, Peter, the master of hobbits. I've been reviewing quite a, a good amount of mead lately in the Alco review, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit because I had some spirits to check out, and I thought I should do a review of this one before it ran out uh, that I got for my birthday way back in January, but it's finally about being uh, it's almost empty right now, so I thought I'd do a video on it. And this, guys, is a rum. As you guys know, some of you might know, I really enjoy aged rums. Uh, I'm by no means a rum expert or spirit expert, but I thought it'd be fun to give my two cents on some of these alcoholic beverages sometimes that is not beer. So this, guys, as I said, is for my birthday, and this is, as within the beer world, you know, there's often marketing comes sometimes, unfortunately, first before the actual product. I don't know if I'd say exactly this is what happened here, but uh, we'll see when we get to the spirit, guys. But this is the Deadhead Rum. That is some pretty freaking cool packaging. I mean, this looks like a shrunken head. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, you, when you spend this one money, uh, money on packaging and it looks great, you know, it gets people to buy it in the shops and whatnot. But often when I see things of this matter where they put so much effort in the bottle, you, you kind of fear for what's going to be inside. Uh, but, guys, this is a Deadhead rum. This is 40% rum from Mexico. So it's a Mexican rum. You don't hear that too often. I've had one other Mexican rum that was aged in wine barrels, which was really good. But this is aged in old bourbon barrels, and it's a six-year-old rum. 40%, as I said. And it's, uh, oh, I can't remember the city in Mexico it's based, but it's uh, funny. I tried to go on that website, and the website's a big interactive, you know, uh, thing where you're in a tent and you look around and you see the shrunken heads and all that. So, I don't know. It's some bigger company that makes it. I couldn't figure out precisely, but uh, it's not like a small distiller or anything. And also one thing that had me warned a bit was the top here. It's actually a shot glass. <laughs> but my friends saw it, thought it looked cool. They knew I like rum, so they got it for my birthday. But let's check it out, guys. So this is the Deadhead Rum poured in the glass. And it's a really nice, really, really dark amber color. I mean, it looks like a really nice darker age rum. And I really love the, love the dark age rums. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's colored with caramel. It would say on the bottle, but it's it's not, it doesn't. Yeah, it's got a great color, it's got some nice legs. or curtains in the glass. Let's check out the aroma on the Deadhead rum. Okay, it smells better than the last time I smelled it, actually. Big molasses, raisins, and figs. Almost like caramelized figs that you do on the pan. There's a hint of a bourbon undertone, but it's not a ton. And barrel, but it smells really boozy. Some of these aged rum get so smooth and velvety and great tasting. But what I one of my big flaws with this when I've had it other times is like the booze is huge. And being 40%, that's actually not too bad or that high for some some aged rums are you know even higher and hide it well better. But on the aroma, there's a big stinging bruise, but there's also some vanilla. Like kind of stewed caramelized figs with a bit of vanilla in there as well. Maybe even stewed red apple. But let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. So boozy. So, so, so boozy. Like, like, it's like burning booze. Burning going down tastes like pure alcohol almost on the palate with some of the, 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 the nicer flavors in there. I prefer my aged rums to be more mellow on the booze side. Of course you're gonna get booze when you're drinking straight, you know, rum. But this just is so aggressive and drying alcohol flavor. Like it really dries out the palate. Big drying alcohol flavor, or uh, uh, boozy alcohol. But the flavor that is there, there is something that's nice. And it's again, those kind of stewed figs or caramelized figs, stewed red apple, vanilla notes, and there is maybe a hint of almond too, and then like molasses, but it just is taken away because you get those flavors nice up front, but then it, you're just overthrown <laughs> with booze. I also saw videos online where people mostly use this for cocktails. And I can see that this would be a pretty good cocktail rum because it's got a dark rum because it's got a good amount of flavors. Uh, and you know mixing it it will hide some of the booze. It's not really a bad rum I mean, it's I, I like it still, but it's just it's a bit too boozy And it's one of these things where I feel like a lot of the money that went into making this is in this Drunken head and not so much the beverage inside uh, 
Not entirely sure about that though, but you can get much better rums for half the price. Like El Dorado rum, the 12 year old, is half the price of this and it's much better in my mind. That's like $45, 250 kroners or so for the 12 year old, sometimes even cheaper. And that's pretty good. I think it's Demerara sugar they use or sugar cane. It's Demerara rum or something I get, but that's really good. Uh, half the price. And yeah, I'd much rather get something like that actually. So it's not a bad rum, it's fun. It, would it, I recommend you check it out, yeah, if you like rums, but uh, not something you, you'd seek out. So yeah, an 80 guys for the Deadhead Rum. If you had a chance to try it, definitely let me know what you thought of it. It'd be cool to hear some actually recommendations for rum. All right, now I have uh, this, and then I have the, a tasting set of rum from Plantation Rums, which is also owned, like, I think, by a bigger company, but at least I think that's a whole lot better than this. But let me know, guys, and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to say cheers in some aged rum from Mexico, and see you guys in another Alco review.